day around here. We are headed to the grocery store. I do a lot of meal prep. That has not changed since going back full time. We do have a little bit less fridge space, so that has made a difference. I have to, um, I have to be more careful about how I package things and I can only prep a few days at a time as far as having veggies um, sliced and ready to go. Jordan takes lunch every day. So sometimes I have to do that twice a week now instead of once a week with a lot of things, which is a bummer, but we can absolutely make it work. Um, so that's what we're doing today. Boys, anything on our grocery list you want? Yeah. Bananas, pizzas. <laughs> Baby? Yeah. We eat a lot of fruit. So I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite parts of the grocery store today, the clearance produce bin. We're not just budget when it comes to RV, we're budget when it comes to everything. We eat tons of produce. Um, a lot of the time it is close to the end or needs to be used right away. Sometimes it has a little nick that I can cut out. Either way, with a family of five, um, saving money on groceries is huge, and we eat tons of produce. So here is our local clearance produce bin. Um, I only got a few apples out of it today, but it's stocked, and it's like this all winter long. Our local store of choice has all of this RV parking and it is fantastic. Today we're in the Suburban, we don't have the trailer, but it's great to be able to get in here and get out and know this is available. We just finished it to the groceries, the grocery store, got everything all loaded, um, stayed under budget for groceries this week, yay! I get asked pretty often about um, having to shop regularly. Guys, we have a full-size pantry. We have a double fridge. I think it's um, 12 cubic feet is what I think it is. And then the double freezer's on top and we have a deep freeze. So yes, I grocery shop every week, but no, we wouldn't starve if I didn't. Um, and I can buy things in bulk and we do have plenty of storage. We have quite a few empty cabinets in our um, fifth wheel honestly so there's plenty of room that I could put more stuff and I'm very careful about how I load things to keep the slide from being weighted down so that when we do travel that's not an issue at all um, but we're headed back to the house I had to run by the bank because we have a field trip tomorrow and I have to have cash we are going to the pumpkin patch we're going hiking and um, we went to the grocery store today and we're going to the grocery store
on week one of filming and we've learned a couple things. We need um, bigger and more SD cards because when you're shooting photo, it's fine. You can get a lot of photos on it and you can get it dumped. When you're shooting video, they fill up fast. Number two, we need a new external hard drive so that we don't constantly have to fill up cards and we can save this footage for later. Um, a blooper reel, all that fun stuff. We don't necessarily want to delete it, but we can't have it taking up space on what we're using. We just got done hiking. The boys are snacking. How was the hike, boys? Good. Good. No. What did we do? Mm, went around the whole circle and uh, throwed rocks in the water and exploded cattails. We had a blast exploding cattails. Um, we hiked and around a lot. Yeah, Graham too. Oh, and <laughs> cattails went up my nose and my mouth. Were they gross? Yeah. Yeah. We, there's a local lake where we are, um, Chipita Lake. It's just outside of town, kind of, and um, it's a great little area. We had a lot of fun. We've been there um, quite a few times. It's an easy hike for the kids, but it gets us outdoors. It gets us exploring, and it gives us something to do. So we're still learning this footage thing, how to get the right camera angle, have stuff ready to go. Um, so I was going to have a quick fun video to show you guys me making gnocchi this evening. Um, Jordan's grilling up elk, elk steaks on the camp chef. And it didn't work. Um, you can see like this much of my face on the first shot. And you can see the bowl, so I mean that's important. But we will get this figured out. And I promise we will have better quality videos as we go. Um, I was just trying to give you guys a glimpse of kind of our everyday stuff that we do. Nothing super exciting, but enough to know um, what it's like to live in a camper with three little boys. And we eat relatively healthy, so we're constantly trying to uh, make things like that. So like tonight is gnocchi. Um, with the grilled steaks, <laughs> but I don't have the full video to show you. So, um, outtakes, I guess, is what that first shot is going to go to. Um, we've had a few of those on our way back from Junction yesterday. I deleted a great video. Jordan's great. He can hold his arms out. He's got ridiculously long arms. I do too, but not in comparison to him. And, um, so you see my eyes and my nose in the video because my arms aren't out far enough. So uh, we went ahead and deleted that. He wasn't very happy with me because I didn't leave it for outtakes. So I'm sure I'll get better at saving those. I didn't think. I was just like, oh, this isn't usable. It is, and I'm sure you guys will appreciate that. But um, that's kind of how it goes. Sometimes it works great. Sometimes it doesn't. sitting on the floor in our room right now so that I can use the mirror to finish getting ready for the day. We are headed to Covered Bridge this morning. Jordan's gonna meet us there, he's at work right now. Um, but there's a great big homeschool group that's headed and we're excited about that. It's pumpkin patch, all kinds of activities for the kids. Sorry about the shaking and the noise. I'm sitting in front of the washer, literally, because one of the boys kicked me out of the bathroom. Um, our next rig will absolutely have that second half bath. We talked about it with this one and we were like, yeah, it's fine. We'll be fine. No, we need it. Turn it off, you see. Mm. That's a good one. Yeah. Only one. You only get one. Did you find a good one, Fletcher? Can you show me? All right, dude. Let's see yours, Easton. You get... All right, dude.
Stand up and go, Ray Ray. There you go, just walk. There you go. Keep going. Just got done at the Covered Bridge Ranch. Every fall they put out all the pumpkins, do all kinds of activities. There was a human hamster wheel, a little corn pit that the kids could jump into, slides. So we brought the boys out here. They got to pick out a pumpkin. They get a pumpkin for your entrance fee. Um, what did it cost us to get in there? $7, but we were part of a field trip. Yeah, it was $7 because we were part of a field trip, um, the homeschool kids. It's normally 10 I think. And yeah, normally it's 10 bucks um, a person, but we got the discounted rate with the homeschool group. But the uh, boys had fun. I got to get back to work. Brooke's going to feed the boys. She brought a little sack lunch for them. We're going to eat. I'm going to go to work, and then they're going to go ride the tractor. So we're doing a quick, easy lunch. Um, the meat and cheese board that I kind of do, condensed. A lot of the time we do meat and cheese and crackers and a fruit um, or a veggie and a dip. And we call it easy. Easy to pack, everything fit in the little bitty brown bag that I brought. I didn't have to have a cooler um, because it'll all be gone. When it's Jordan, we have to pack a little bit more, um, but he's at lunch, so or he's at work, so he took his own lunch today, so he has all that. So it was just us, and then um, you can't see Graham; he's down here on the ground chilling, eating his own apple too. So super easy, quick, fun. Um, Mom goofed up. I tried to be in line for the tractor, and I didn't cut across where I should have, and so we didn't make the tractor ride this time. So the boys had been asking for food. So we came back and got some lunch from the car, and then we will head back over to ride the tractor. Um, unfortunately, Jordan won't get a ride with us, but the boys really want to ride the tractor, so we're not going to miss out on that. And then we'll play around for however long we're here. It is finally our turn to get on the tractor. What can we get on? Yep, go get on. This is how you on this stop. We can get on. Yep, go get on. This is how you on this stop. We can get on. Yep, get on. You guys get up there.
It's a beautiful Saturday morning here. We're getting ready to cook some breakfast. We're gonna try the flat top out on the camp chef. Uh, we're gonna do a little pancakes, little eggs, scrambled, um, do that. And then we gotta to run to Home Depot, a couple other places, get some stuff. We're gonna do the curtain for the boys' room. Um, just because the last couple weeks we found that that uh, is definitely needed. You know, by the time it's their bedtime, mom and I are still up and it's hard for them to fall asleep. So we're gonna try and get that done today. But right now, I'm gonna cook some breakfast. All right, got the pancakes going. For some reason, the card, the memory card, the SD card, told me it was full, even though it's not full. I'm gonna figure out why it's telling me it's full. It was a little longer. to come into Home Depot, huh? Oh, it's not You like sitting on the tractors? What one do you do to go backwards? You pull them backwards. Both of them? Yeah. And to go forwards, push both of them forwards. And is it, what is this level? Playground for adults and kids. So, we have a one inch T. I'm gonna give that back to Graham. Um, we have the AC unit above the boys' bed, and then it's an electric heat unit too. And so that's gonna go right there. And then we got two of the 45s for the corner because we're gonna angle it over um, around their bed area. And then we still have to figure out how we're gonna attach it to the ceiling and how we're gonna attach it to the side walls for support. Um, we also have two of the one inch PVC. We could have gone smaller, but we don't want it to bow. So we want bigger rather than smaller. And I'm gonna paint it because the white on the TN ceiling would drive me nuts. So in this clip, we had a ton of background noise, a bunch of humming. But what I'm explaining here is we are gonna use closet bar holders to mount the PVC to the wall and the ceiling in the camper. So George's unloading. We have the PVC pipe here. Um, and then this massive tote that all the boys' toys are gonna go in. Wife got it off. We got the curtain bar all roughed up. 
this is what it's going to look like. So now we're going to disassemble it. I need to glue this joint here. We're going to leave one side not glued so we can disconnect it and take this apart for travel days. We need to do that. We're going to sand this edge right here down a little bit. The rings hang up on there a little bit. Yep, I'm going to do that. Get it painted, paint it nice black so it kind of matches everything and then go get the uh, material to make the curtain out of. done at church got back to the camper Brooke is working on some lunch for us I'm gonna get the bars that we painted yesterday for the boys curtain for their room we're gonna get those installed today see how that looks um, turn the Bronco game on just so I can watch them struggle some more um, but each loss is getting easier and easier to watch so that's that's a plus um, yeah we're gonna get the curtain hung up eat some lunch uh, not sure what we're going to do this afternoon, but we'll figure that out. I picked out these curtains yesterday because they had the tan and the gray. Well, I only looked at about 50 packages of curtains and I thought there were two panels per curtain and there wasn't. There was only one. So I only have two curtains. So our project just went up another 50 bucks, which is a super bummer, but we already have this up. So what do you do now? Um, so I need to go get two more curtain panels and then also the rings up here, I need more packages of rings. And those were pretty cheap, we bought them on clearance, but I just have to hope that they have more rings that I can pick up. If not, I'll pick up a different color and we'll alternate because I'm not taking them all back and I'm getting them as cheap as possible. <laughs> we have to come back to Target to get more shades. Curtain. More curtains for our project because we needed two more sets. Yeah. And uh, how many more sets did you grab? I got one. We will get toys. Why'd you only get one? I thought we needed two. Like we will get toys. Because they only have one, so we I'm online right now that. ordering I'll another I'll set. Like oh. We will get that. I Nothing in that aisle. It's our life. You can go look. Nothing in that aisle. It's our life. It's never easy. Or simple. Just got back from running our errands. We went to go get more stuff to finish up the curtains. Unfortunately, Target didn't have everything we needed in stock, so we had to order it online. So that'll be here sometime this week, and we'll be able to get that finished up. The curtain's closed right now, but there's some gaps, and we just want to have more material in there to make sure it's a solid closure. 
Um, so we got that ordered, came back. The boys are watching some Veggie Tales right now. The church we attend, they have a little library and they can rent out Veggie Tales and stuff because we have been without internet for two or three days now. And, you know, we got data on the phones and stuff, but the campground, the Wi-Fi has not been working at all. Um, so I've been looking into other options. I've been reading a lot about the Togo Road Link. So if any of you have any information on that, if you've used it, pros, cons, um, where we're at right now through the winter, we got good cell phone coverage. And so I think that'd be a good option for here. But I just want to get some opinions from people that have actually used it. So if you've used it, let me know. I'd like to pick your brain a little bit and see how it's worked for you. Um, mainly we're going to be using it to upload videos, uh, social media, browsing the web, uh, and streaming on Hulu and stuff like that. So not a ton of usage, but it is um, a pretty good drain when we are streaming videos. So I'd appreciate your feedback on that. I'll go and turn the boys' veggie tails back up because they're trying to watch it right now without the sound on. Mm -hmm.